take a live look outside right now. This is Jefferson Boulevard, the Harrison right there. Fortunately, sort of the, the drizzle and the fog that we're seeing isn't quite obscuring this view, but there are other views <laughs> that aren't quite as good. Here's Not another perspective. Matt, you've got this. Don't like that. Yeah, I, I've been going through the, the Skyview network cameras, and we have this one, which shows pretty low visibility. In fact, we're at about four mile visibility at Fort Wayne International Airport. Uh, we've got a couple other cameras too. In fact, uh, I've got another one. We got, uh, yeah, rain. You can see the, the rain on the lens. This is at our, uh, right outside the station on top of our tower, hundreds of feet up in the air. There's another one of our cameras. And then you can see on the Broadway Plaza, uh, windshield wipers move in a little bit. I mean, the, there is mist, there is some drizzle. It's not necessarily, you know, pouring outside, but it's a gray and kind of a wet evening. 48 degrees with that mist. East wind is at 11 miles per hour, so it's also pretty breezy. It feels like 43 degrees. So, yeah, you know we're changing seasons when the wind chill starts to become a factor. Uh, Fort Wayne down to four mile visibility, six mile visibility in Van Wert. Uh, away from the city, though, uh, not too bad in Auburn, Angola, Kennelville, still maintaining about 10 mile visibility, uh, but it will likely get a little bit worse tonight. So with the low clouds, some of the drizzle and increasing rain, we'll likely see visibility between about one to three miles and then eventually improving as we head throughout the morning tomorrow. So whatever we're seeing now, low cloud wise, won't necessarily uh, remain through tomorrow. Current temperatures into the upper 40s, uh, 51 in Kendallville, uh, 50 degrees in Huntington, and storm track showing, again, plenty of cloud cover, mostly cloudy skies with some rain off to the south and to the west. Zooming out even further, you can actually see there's a quite a bit of wintry weather into the upper Midwest. Four to six inches of snow expected to fall by the end of the evening in Minneapolis. And then further to our south, a warm front is actually lifting uh, northward with uh, an area of low pressure. This is going to be bringing in some slightly warmer temperatures, but also a better chance of some rain overnight. And then the cold front will pass through tomorrow morning, clearing us out. It's in the upper 40s currently, but low 60s in Evansville. So that warm front does have at least some warmer temperatures to, with it, but it's going to bring a little bit of rain too before we get to those warmer uh, temperatures. Uh, some moderate rainfall is possible to our southern counties. I actually think Jay, Blackford, Grant counties, maybe even southern Adams and Wells counties will see some slightly heavier rain than just about everywhere else. As you'll see, scattered rain showers likely throughout much of the area, though overnight tonight into tomorrow morning before the cold front passes through the area and clears us out tomorrow afternoon. The rain estimate shows again the heaviest rain will be to the south and to the east, but still a large chunk of the area could see about half an inch to an inch of rainfall. Lesser amounts, of course, shaded in green here with about maximum half an inch of rain. And again, I expect that uh, while this will be rain that we certainly need, we could really stand for a little more. And I think that's certainly possible heading into early next week, too. Uh, future track temperatures putting us into the low 60s tomorrow, mainly Fort Wayne southward, a little cooler to the north of Fort Wayne. And then by Thursday into the 70s as if none of this cold, cloudy weather even happened. It'll be partly sunny with temperatures actually closer to 80 than 70. Although that warm front's going to really struggle to move further north and east. If it gets hung up right around DeKalb and LaGrange counties, we could be looking at temperatures only in the low 60s into Steuben County. So crossing fingers, we can get a little more of a progressive warm front moving through fr uh, Thursday. Friday, temperatures will be into the mid 70s with some light rain showers. Overnight low temperatures will be pretty mild too, right around 60. And then cooling dramatically Friday behind a cold front. Temperatures over the weekend will be into the mid 50s with clouds and some showers Sunday and then even cooler for early next week. At least we have 70s. Yes, we a do. A couple of days. <laughs>